This abandoned stone quarry is not just a local party spot for the kids, but also a mysterious site that captivated the nation in 1934, where a teenage boy and his friends were chased by men in black suits, later identified as FBI agents. The story begins with Raymond Weber, a teen who was out exploring on April 21st, 1934. He was out exploring when he found a package that seemed to have been buried in the ground. So he ran and grabbed some friends. They went and retrieved the buried package, but as they dug it up, some men emerged from the woods in suits. Instinct kicked in and they ran. As they ran down the hill, they heard shots fire out behind them. Only seven days later, on the 28th, it was a national headline in major newspapers all around the United States of America. This being the end of the Great Depression and a small town in Vermont, it was very strange. Men in suits lurking around. Rumors and gossip started. One of those rumors came from a young local man who was hitchhiking late at night down East Proctor Road. As a car passed him by, he saw through the trees and he caught a glimpse of what looked like a car par parked off the road behind the bridge. He swore he distinctly saw four men sitting in wait for what he didn't know. Another local farmer found explosives hidden in an old rotting mattress as he walked the perimeters of his property. The local newspapers had gotten a request from the men in black suits not to print a word of their presence for a week as they were the FBI. The rumor mill was running full tilt. No one knew what was going on until the newspapers printed about it. What they were told was that the FBI was investigating an attempt on extortion. Every local that was brought in for questioning was asked for a handwriting sample, and the investigation seemed to be centered around the golf club in Brandon, Vermont, a town that was not too far off. Although there were many articles at the time, there was never an arrest. Although it gripped the nation, nobody knows what happened. Years later, an author, Mary Fergosi, decided to inquire for the FBI to reveal the files, but they informed her that the files had been destroyed years before she had made the request. To this day, we still don't know what happened. Why was the FBI here in such a small town? In such a small, quiet town that, just like everywhere else, was struggling with the Great Depression. We still don't know, and we may never know because there's no files, there's no evidence, there's no background. But there's plenty of rumors to go around.
gonna be my co-producer, Belle. Yeah. Co-produce this. <laughs> you gonna be my co-producer, Belle? Oh, a belly bean. <laughs> Belle, what do you smell? What do you smell? 